Tennessee man will be put to death in just two days for a crime he committed nearly 40 years ago. This is Edmund Zagorski right here, who's convicted of murdering two people back in 1983 in what was supposed to be a drug deal. We spoke to the wife of one of the victims, and News Channel 5's Mo Hyder is live at the Tennessee Supreme Court building this morning. Mo, what does that wife say? Yeah, so Adam, we spoke to Marsha Dotson. She says the death of her husband still haunts her till this day, and all she wants at this point is closure. Now, just to backtrack, just about 40 years ago, her husband, John Dill Dotson, and, and a friend, Jimmy Porter, were killed by Zagorski during a drug deal. That went completely wrong. Zagorski also took their money and fled town. He was later captured uh, by police after shootouts. Now, late last night, we got word that Zagorski has chosen the electric chair for his execution instead of the lethal three drug cocktail, saying it is the lesser of two evils. This came after the state Supreme Court ruled the drug cocktail is constitutional. Zagorski was one of 33 inmates who filed lawsuit claiming the drug cocktail used in lethal injections is cruel. Now, Dotson says regardless of how he's executed, she's just ready to move on from her husband's death. I've dealt, dealt with it for 35 years, and I will be glad when it's over. And I'm just tired. You know, I'm, I'm mentally tired. I'm physically tired. I'm just ready for this to all be over so I can start some kind of healing. And Marcia says she does not plan on attending the execution. Her son, however, will be in attendance again. That is set to begin at Thursday at 7 o'clock at night. But for now, we're live at Legislative Plaza this morning. Will Hyder, News Channel 5.